In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a time shift video with the Insta360 ONE X and the ONE X app. I will also show you how to enhance your videos in Premiere Pro to make it Facebook and Instagram ready. But don't worry, you can adapt the Premiere Pro workflow to any other video editor. So let's get started. Make sure you downloaded your footage to your phone and tap the footage you want to edit. This particular footage was shot on 5.7K 30 frames per second video in auto mode. I would recommend using manual mode if you know how to use it. This will help avoid the overexposure and change in exposure you will see throughout this video. But if you're just starting off and you want to make videos fast, then auto mode will do just fine. Editing a time shift video on the ONE X app consists of three stages. One is trimming your video, two is adding pivot points, and three is adding speed. But before we go into the edit, let's take a look at what the raw footage looks like and the best practices when filming a time shift video. I just press record and put the phone in my pocket. I mounted the Insta360 ONE X on the invisible selfie stick, about one and a half stems tall. Normally I would extend the selfie stick higher, but this place had low ceilings. I'm trying to walk as slowly and steadily as possible making smooth turns when I approach a corner. Sometimes you will get lines on the ground which are really handy because this will make sure you are walking really smoothly. I am constantly thinking about where to walk next and I try to pick a route where there is the least amount of people. Now I am approaching the narrowest building in Valencia. You can see there is a big group of people in the centre. The last thing I want to do is sharp turns around people because this will ruin the fluid motion of the video. Your time shift videos will look effortless when you try and walk in a smooth line as much as possible. Again, I am using the lines on the ground to help me keep a smooth line. And I'm using the route where there is no people on my way. See how I turn corners in a smooth circular motion, opposed to just turning 90 degrees. Again, you can see the tiles on the ground act as lines to help you walk in a straight line. And now I am on the home straight to the fountain. I like to end the video on something visually interesting to look at, and I just hold it there for a second. So that's what the raw footage looks like. Let's begin editing our time shift video on the ONE X app. The first step is to trim the footage. So go to edit and tap trim. Drag your footage left to trim the start of the video. I will start the video when I begin walking. Then tap this button to trim the footage from the end of the video. Drag the footage right and I will end the video when I stop at the fountain. Tap the tick to confirm. To save your edit so far, just tap the back button and then tap back into your footage again to continue editing. I recommend that you save your work every five minutes, just in case your phone crashes. The next step is to add pivot points. And Pivot Points is basically telling the software where to look in your video and at what time. In between the pivot points, the software is working out how to transition from the previous pivot point to the next pivot point automatically. To add a pivot point, hold your finger down on the screen where you want your viewers to look. In this case, the fountain. And select Pivot Point. I'm going to scroll forward just before I begin to turn this first corner. There is a rule for adding pivot points on corners. You never add a pivot point during a corner. You only add pivot points before or after a corner. The reason is the software will automatically work out how to turn the corner as smoothly as possible using the before and after points. So I add a pivot point here before the corner. And I'll scroll forward just after I turn the corner. I want to keep this path in the center and follow it and add a pivot point here. If you're not happy with where you tapped your pivot point, just tap anywhere else on the screen to try again. I am going to scroll forward just before I turn this corner now. And add a pivot point. I will then scroll forward just after I turn this corner and add a pivot point focusing on the fountain. Your video just needs to focus on a few things because when you speed up the video, 
people need to be able to digest what is going on and where they should be looking. You can imagine how annoying it is when the video is really fast, pointing at different things and you just cannot understand what is going on. So in this video, focusing on the path, the fountain and the narrowest building in Valencia is enough for the viewer to enjoy the video. I'm going to scroll forward just before I begin walking around the fountain and at a pivot point here. When you need to move around something and you're really close, you need to add more pivot points so the footage turns out more smoothly. I'm going to add pivot points every few seconds around this fountain. And I'm trying to add pivot points at the same position as the previous pivot points on the fountain to keep the footage smooth and stable. I cannot add any more pivot points on the fountain now because I come into the shot. I'll focus on where I am heading and add a pivot point here. I will keep scrolling through this as it's a straight line. I will add a pivot point here before I turn direction. I will now focus on the narrowest building in Valencia. It's 127 centimeters in width. I'll keep scrolling forward until we get nearer. Since I haven't added a pivot point in the last 10-20 seconds, I will add a pivot point here. I will scroll more forward and add more pivot points to focus on this building. And before I turn away from the narrowest building to the path I am following, I just want to focus on this church. So I will add a pivot point here. Now I'm going to focus on the path that I am following. I'll add a pivot point just after this corner. I'm going to scroll backwards and tap play just to check that the turn looks okay. And that looks fine to me. I'll add a pivot point here just before I turn into this street on the right. Add a pivot point here after I turn the corner. Let's double check that turn looks okay. And that looks fine to me. I will scroll forward since this is all straight. I will add a pivot point here as I am about to slightly change direction. And add another pivot point on the fountain. Scroll all the way to the end and add another pivot point here. Okay, so that's all the pivot points added. Tap back to save and tap the footage again to open it. The third and final step on the One X app is to add speed. Go to edit and tap speed. I will leave the first second as normal video. This gives your viewers time to understand where you are. Position the yellow line where you want to add speed from. This footage is pretty short so I will use 8 times speed. Drag the footage left and keep scrolling until where you want to apply the speed to. I will stop here when I get close to the fountain because I want the fountain to be normal speed for a second so the viewers can see it properly. Tap the tick here to confirm the 8 times speed. I will scroll one second later, leave it as normal video, then tap 8 times speed again, drag it all the way until I reach the narrowest building in Valencia. If you need to delete the speed, just tap on the red bar and a trash can icon will appear. Tap on the red bar again and it will be deleted. Tap tick to confirm the 8 times speed. Again I will scroll one second later. It will give the viewers a split moment to see the narrowest building. And then tap the 8 times speed to continue the time shift all the way till the end of the video. And I will leave the last second as normal video. Tap tick to confirm and tap back to save your edit and open it up again. This time shift is now ready to be exported. If you want you can export it as a 1x1 for Facebook and Instagram or a 16x9 for YouTube or a 9x16 for Facebook and Instagram stories. I'm going to choose 9x16 because I'm going to resize this 9x16 video into a 4x5 aspect ratio in Premiere Pro. Tap here to export, select local here you'll see a preview of your video, however it's not in real time preview since phones are not powerful enough to show you the time shift effect before you export, so tap export and wait for the video to render to see what it will actually look like. The rendered video looks like this.
If you want to, you can enhance your video in Premiere Pro, and this will work for other video editors as well. Create a new sequence, which is 864 by 1080 pixels. This is a 4x5 ratio for Facebook and Instagram. Call it whatever you want and click OK. Import your footage into Premiere Pro, double click it and drag the footage into your timeline. Keep the existing settings. Under effects you can scale the footage down to 86%. Move your footage up and down if you wish to. I will apply the Insta360 1 x LUT. Let's do a quick check. And it's all looking good. So here is the complete timeline of the time shift video I worked on, including some tweaks, music and sound effects. Here I adjusted the rotation and scale because the horizon was bent towards the end of the video. This is what the original time shift video looked like. And here is the tweak in Premiere Pro using rotation and scale to straighten the horizon. You can add free music from YouTube audio library. There are dozens of tracks to pick from, and you can download free sound effects from freesound.org, like the footsteps, the whooshes and swooshes. To export your video, go to File, Export, Media, choose a folder to export to, make sure the width is set to 864 and the height is set to 1080, change bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass, and set the target and maximum bitrate to 16 megabits per second. Click Export, Wait for your video to render and you can now view your final time shift video. When you upload the video to Instagram, just make sure to tap this button to upload the video in the 4x5 format and continue to upload as normal. That's it, you now know how to make a time shift video with the Insta360 ONE X. Don't forget to share your creations on the How To Make A Video Facebook community. The link is in the description.